Hey guys, Joe and I have reservations for Big Fire here at City Walk Universal Studios Orlando. This is going to be our first time going into Big Fire. We've never tried it before. We wanted to do something new and unique and exciting and they got an incredible menu. So let's go ahead and head on into Big Fire and check this out. This is our first time, our server, Aaron. Aaron. Super, super nice. Aaron is absolutely phenomenal and knows everything forward and back and oh my gosh he's done such a great job explaining everything to us so that we made sure that we made some great decisions on what we're getting but just wait till you see what we've ordered my god it's gonna be amazing to start with we are going to get the artichoke oven roasted dip gruyere cheese i can't pronounce that i probably said that wrong spinach kale and grilled bread it's 12 bucks i am going with the Beer glazed scallops for 32 bucks. It's uh, cooked in bacon, fire grilled seasonal vegetables, charred hearth bread. He said it's all cooked together. And my question was, so is it going to be just a few little bitty scallops that's on top, or is it going to be a substantial amount of scallops? Because I'm a scallop queen. I love those. Every time Joe cooks them, they are absolutely incredible, and they're probably my favorite. And he said, oh, he said, I'm not going to be your favorite server by giving you a small portion of scallops. He said, it's an eight ounces of scallops. So I am so looking forward to this. This is going to be absolutely incredible. Now, Joe, what are you getting? I'm still trying to decide. I've got a few possibilities. Yeah. Uh, one of the beer glazed scallops. Mm -hmm. But there's one right next to it on the menu, the Hearthstone Seafood Bake. I looked at that and yeah. that looked up, but it had andouille sausage know, in it and I don't like andouille I, sausage. I think uh, it might be a hit for me. Your yeah. drink might, will be ready in just a few moments. Okay, thank you. And Joe got himself an iced tea with some lemon wedgies. This is my lemonade. Listen to it. I think it's got pop rocks. <laughs> This lemonade, I wanted something that was non-alcoholic. And this has, it's pink lemonade, but it has strawberries and muddled strawberries. It's got pop rocks in it. And I think he said elderberry. If I ask him to repeat it again, he's gonna think I'm a moron. No. He's probably right but I just don't want to embarrass myself by asking again. So Joe, you want to go ahead and test drive that dip? I want to test drive that bread. I'm a bread person, so weird. Well, it's boiling lava hot. Mm -hmm. I like this. Yeah? Very, very smooth, got a good taste. It looks amazing. It will remind you a little bit of the Applebee's dip, but this is Applebee's dip on steroids. Good. First off, I like the bread. And they've got a nice grilled char on it. Good bread. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on here. It's very hot. Mm -hmm. I hope I do not burn my face. If I do, don't laugh. <laughs> Make sure it focuses. Looks amazing. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Mm. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Yeah, that's a good stringy cheese right there. That's I don't know how to say it. Gruyere? Gruyere? Gruyere. I don't know. That is super good. So it has kale in it also, which I was kind of surprised to see that as one of the ingredients. It didn't seem like something that would be in an artichoke dip. This pink lemonade, it's the non-alcoholic version of it. Man, is that good. Super awesome. Our meal has arrived and you will not believe this. So Joe got the our baked seafood casserole and it is loaded with all kinds of goodies and i got the beer scallops arabica potatoes uh, mussels shrimps andouille sausage 
And uh, and a codfish. Yeah. So what a great combo. He's going to absolutely love that. Now look at mine. Oh, uh, look how tender and flaky that is. That's the, that's, that's the cod. Oh, that's great. Is it? Yeah. Fish are well done. It's not dry as flaky. Yeah. So there's my scallops, and it comes with the vegetables and some bread. And just so I don't have my camera sticking out in the road when people are going by, I'm going to go ahead and record from this angle. I kind of cheated. And I already test drove one. I mean, melt in your mouth. Joe gave me one of his mussels from his earth baked seafood casserole. It literally was like melt in your mouth delicious. But the scallop is too. Let me test drive this for you. It's so tender, seasoned really nice. It's just a fresh. And the bacon in here, oh my lord. But there is a ton of juice at the bottom of this to where even a piece of potato is going to taste phenomenal. That is absolutely incredible. So there's also carrots in there. I don't know what all is in here. I will have to look at the menu again. Onions, carrots, potatoes, bacon, a lot of good seasoning. It's not like salty or anything. It's just nicely seasoned. Very classic. But the juice that is in this, I think I could drink that. I don't know what all is in there, but it, it almost has a little bit of a sweet taste to it. So I don't know if they have like a brown sugar or something in there. Absolutely incredible. This is not going to be the last time I get this, I guarantee it. Incredible. Mm -hmm. I had him explain a couple different things on the menu because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. And he told me, you're going to love this one. And you're not going to go away from the table hungry. Got that right? When you can make a carrot melt in your mouth that's that tender and delicious, that is phenomenal. If you're ever wondering, should you try this dish? Do it. All right, guys. You know that I obsess on Universal and all the restaurants here. I am going to go way out on a limb here and say that this meal at Big Fire might be my all-time favorite meal of anything I've had on Universal property. And that is, that's a huge order because there's a lot of food that I like here. And I, there's only been a couple times that we've not had something that we thought was amazing. But this one, literally, I just could not stop talking about how incredible it was the entire time I was eating it. So, yeah, I'm going to say this, this probably has to be, well, it's definitely in the top five, but it might be my number one. This would probably blow away anything I've had over the competition at Disney. Oh, God, yes. And Disney needs to do more of this. Now, maybe they're starting to do it downtown. I don't know. But this is great. This is definitely great. This isn't about Disney versus Universal. This is about, to me, just the fact that this meal is so incredible. Our server is incredible. The beverage that I got, that's a non-alcoholic beverage, but it's so good. And then for dessert, I wasn't even going to get dessert because I'm so full. He kept talking up this uh, Dutch apple pie that they have. Well, I mean, I can have Dutch apple pie. It's like, eh. You know, that didn't really sound all that exciting to me. And it comes with vanilla ice cream. When, when Joe was reading the menu, he's seen that there's a flourless chocolate cake, which to me does not sound great. But it had a bourbon ice cream with it. And I thought... So I asked the server, I said, you know... I like Dutch apple pie, but vanilla ice cream is like, meh. So I said, can I have that bourbon ice cream in place of the vanilla ice cream? And he said, done. All right, guys, this is the Dutch apple pie with bourbon ice cream. Joe, you want to go ahead and give that a test drive? 
Looks like vanilla, definitely bourbon. What? Very good. I can't wait. Let me be the judge of that. Was that surprisingly good? Yeah, I wasn't sure, wasn't sure what bourbon ice cream was going to taste like. That's really good. I was afraid it was going to be a little too strong, but it's actually very light on the bourbon taste. But wow, that's so good. So let me see what Joe thinks of the apple. The Dutch apple. Give it a taste drive. Yeah, with a, some kind of glaze layer in between. He said that there's caramel in between the ice cream and the Dutch apple pie. It's a winner. There is caramel between the ice cream and Dutch apple pie. Yeah, very well done. Like the crust, but not all crust is good. Uh, yeah, that's true. All right. Wow, that's thick. Did I get any of the caramel? Probably. I'm not sure that I did. I don't think I did. Ooh, that is so sweet. see the layer of caramel. I'm sure it's in there. I just don't see it. There's a layer of sugar. It's like a layer of sugar. The crust is good. It's almost as though they didn't get the sugar caramelized or something, because I literally had a mouthful of sugar. Like I opened up a sugar Maybe pack. Didn't get a torch I, was I don't know. That again. didn't do. That didn't do it for me. I was still ordering this again. Yeah, the mouth for mouth full of sugar was a bit of a turn off for me. I think it was supposed to be torched or something, so it was like caramel. But instead, it was just a mouthful of sugar. So I pass on that one. The pie itself is good. The ice cream is phenomenal. That mouthful of sugar is like, I don't know. Everybody has different things. Here you go. Well, I think it just didn't get torched right. Still, I think this is probably my favorite restaurant in all of Universal. I can honestly say the food is absolutely incredible. The service, it's very high priced but you're getting what you expect with that price tag. Very, very good. This is a revision on the apple pie clip. So the apple pie that we got, the Dutch apple pie with the bourbon ice cream, the bourbon ice cream was superior. The crust on the Dutch apple pie was pretty good. It was kind of light, a little bit on the fluffy side, and the apples were delicious. There was supposed to be like a caramel layer in between the two. I actually had one bite that was just solid sugar, so to me that was a bit of a turn off, but it was just like one bite and the rest of it was absolutely phenomenal. So I hate to give a bad review on something just because I had one little thing, but um, no, it was really good. Quite honestly, everything that we had here was amazing. Alright guys, we got the bill. My pink lemonade with the pop rocks and stuff, 11 bucks. My scallop dinner that I had, 32 bucks. Uh, Joe had the seafood bake that was 29. His iced tea was 4.49. Uh, and then we split the apple pie with the bourbon ice cream, and that was 10 bucks. And as our appetizer, we had the artichoke oven dip, and that was 12. We saved $14.77 because we are premier pass holders. I preach it constantly on these dining videos, but rock those annual passes. Do not forget it. Make the most of it because it will pay for itself in little to no time, guaranteed. But anyhow, the final bill, 
$89.16 for a high-end deluxe meal. I firmly believe this is like maybe my absolute favorite meal that I've ever had at Universal Orlando. And $89.16. That is so phenomenal. Your server did an amazing, amazing job. Make sure to tip your servers very good because quite honestly, if you've got the money to come on vacation, then don't be tight-fisted and tip your server well because they work their asses off to make sure that you have an amazing vacation. Big Fire here at City Walk, Universal Studios, Orlando. <laughs> if you are new to this channel, please hit that like and subscribe and ring bell notification so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest. Also, please don't forget to check out some of our other great videos we have on the parks, the rides, resorts, resort rooms, Skyliner rides, day trips, car shows, outdoor pizza oven videos, Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, and Disney World. Thank you so much for watching.